Well, hello everyone. Hey, hey. We are going to take a listen at some P90 sounds. And um, I know maybe dedicated viewers of the channel will see that we did that Reverend 390, mm -hmm. I believe is what it's 390. called. 390. Uh, Jet, Jet Stream Jet Stream 390. 390 is the official name. But <laughs> that had a cool feature with three P90s and that's not something you run into typically normally. Three pickups is like a Strat thing. Mm -hmm. But now I like to think of it as kind of like a beefed up Strat. Yeah. And um, one of the things you don't really get to hear is like in between position P90s when it's kind of formatted like that, like a Strat. So we thought it would be a cool thing to highlight those specific two and four positions and uh, just kind of do some cool sounds that yeah. maybe we're not used to hearing. So For sure. Well, we'll jump into those clips and yeah, this is kind of something a little more non-traditional uh, and, and with a five-way, again, you got those like two and four like you mentioned and the P90s are normally on a three-way, they're a lot farther apart. So shoving them a little closer together gives them the quack that you would hear in the strap. But like you said, it's like the, all I could think of when you're saying that is like the extra chunky Campbell soup, you know, just just a little bit more meat uh, on that. <laughs> All right, so we're going to check out the sound clips here. We've got the vintage in the neck, the classic in the middle, and the vintage in the bridge. So you're going to hear that vintage neck with the classic middle and the vintage bridge with the classic middle. Let's take a listen. <laughs> So hopefully you could hear the differences and maybe you could uh, like A and B them with your favorite Strat and really kind of start <laughs> to hear, oh, P90s yeah. really do a really cool thing. And um, it seems like we're always split between like, oh, humbuckers and single coils. And tonally, I feel like the P90 just is kind of right in the middle. So yeah. that's like its own its own thing. It is still a single coil. So you'll get that <laughs> 60 cycle. You'll have to have your noise gate on and everything. Yeah. But the dynamics are there and, and you just get more of that. G style like uh, bottom end kind of yeah. profile for for lack of a better term so a really cool pickup often very undervalued or underrated I think mm -hmm. especially because it because of the hum people don't like the hum but it's rock and roll though, but it's at rock the same and roll. time at the same time yeah this has been a really fun combination as we mentioned in a previous video just just being able to explore kind of a new sound even though it's like 
familiar pickups, but kind of hearing them in that context, the kind of, you know, pushed up or pushed down, if you will. Mm -hmm. um, that's been a lot of fun. And, and there's been some time, some times where you're just sitting on one of those tones and you're like, this is kind of fun just to like be in a new territory. So we encourage you guys to check that out. If you're looking for something really different and interesting, try a new pickup configuration in a guitar like we did with this one. I think it really paid off for for us in that never ending chase for tone. And so thank you guys for watching. If you have any comments or questions or you wanna see more of this specific guitar that we just demoed, we'll do more clips of that. We just wanted to highlight those positions real quick today. And if you're checking this out, don't forget to subscribe to our channel as well for more pickup and guitar related content. Thanks so much. We'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.